Welcome to Beam Farm Gaming. Happy Easter to all those lovers of spring. And this is our review of Glam. I'd like to thank the publisher for providing me a review copy of the game prior to its release. It was developed and self-published by the small Hungarian developer named Three Legged Egg. Yet pulls up. They released onto the Nintendo eShop and Steam platforms on February. But if you jump on the sale, like the one going on right now, you can pick it up for an early Easter present. Glam was an unexpected arrival on our farm, so I do apologize for the advanced delay of this review. Although, being a small indie developer from Budapest, Hungary... I'm hungry. Oh, are you hungry? Yes, I am hungry. I really wanted to help shine some light on this little hidden beauty. Glam really ran the gambit of emotions while being tossed around on the farm for over a month. But in the end, I believe it does come out on top. Let's talk about that, shall we? The game doesn't really start out with much of a storyline, but honestly, does anyone really pay much attention to the weak storylines for these side-scrolling platformers in the vein of Super Meat Boy or Celeste? Reading in between the lines of the minimal explanation on the Nintendo eShop and what the press papers the developer sent, it goes something like this. In this game, you play as Glam. Her goal is to rescue her mother from the realm of Katarina. Katarina. She is being held captive by an evil witch to prevent Glam and her mother's power to unite. Wow, okay, I got it. Mom got captured by a witch. Well. I guess that certainly explains why I'm dressed in a miniskirt, halter top, hoop earrings, and high-heeled streetwalker boots, because that's probably the outfit I'd pick, too, if I was going witch hunting. <laughs> right? All right, anyway, Glamp does do a moderate job of mixing up several well-worn platforming tropes into a well-polished 2D pixel art platformer, right? And delivering solid platforming, wall climbing, goblin bouncing with hair swinging. <laughs> the game does a moderate job of creating a pretty playable experience. The other half of the coin, unfortunately, happens is how the gameplay is delivered. Like I just mentioned, Glam was released on Steam and the Nintendo Switch. Although Steam has almost unlimited options for controllers and customization, the almighty Switch is stuck with this. Early in the game, the odd control scheme was tolerable, but as the difficulty began to wrap up, my ability to properly control Glam rapidly began to decline as using the default button layout, I was foolishly wrestling with the Joy-Cons in the time-honored Death Grip Claw style. This originally had me rolling on the floor like a seven-year-old at a Chuck E. Cheese birthday party. Sorry, pumpkin. But after cooling down and thinking here, I had an option to change the controls. I was happy to find it in the options menu and change it to more relaxed control scheme. But even with the custom button layout, my ability to jump, swing, jump, climb, swing, bounce, swing, climb, it all within a split second of each other felt like a huge difficulty spike. What's going on? I came to the conclusion that the earlier stages of Glam where I was able to play on the go with the Joy-Cons, this game really was made to be docked and to be played with the Pro Pro Bow Bow! The difference between playing with a Joy-Con and a Pro Controller really is night and day. Glam graphics are a stylized muddle of pixelated pastel watercolors, which although standard, they get the job done. I've been on a roll of banging out on the chipset background music as Glam was filled with it, but actually the modernized rock and pop influence matches the theme, so okay, it works. I originally played about 10 minutes of the game, then immediately dismissed it, handed it to my daughter telling her, you're in charge of the review, so... It's not fair. Hey, that's not fair. How about you get your subscribers up, then we'll talk. After about 20 minutes, she handed the game back to me and said she wasn't interested and was really getting frustrated with having to jump, swing, grab, jump, swing, jump, swing, grab, jump, swing, jump, climb, bounce, grab, swing, bounce, grab, swing, jump, only to miss the platform and have to restart the level. <laughs> I wonder why she is so frustrated. <laughs> 
Probably because of this guy. It's the Glam Buster. Glam is definitely not for everyone, and I'm pretty close to saying that if you really enjoyed this kind of mental punishment, well, uh, we've got a big bowl of strawberry laxatives for you right here. <laughs> you freak. Overall, the gameplay in Glam is tight for what it is, and each of my 429 deaths all felt like it, it was because of my lacking of timing and rather not than some Mortal Kombat level of character animation. This isn't the game for everyone, but if you have the time, patience, skill level, and don't mind your girlfriend rethinking your relationship status, you too can experience these three <laughs> beans out of thought. <laughs> Well, that wraps up another great review here on the farm, so be sure to visit again next week where we'll all be taking a good look at the uh, kids' favorite game, Totally Reliable Delivery Service. Y'all stay safe out there. We'll see you next time on the farm. Show.